hello friends welcome back my name is pk in this video you will learn how to create this beautiful birthday and anniversary tracker in google sheets as you are seeing my screen this is the search occasion sheet wherein you can just enter the number of days and you will get how many birthdays and anniversaries are there in next seven days if you enter here 30 then it will give you the number of birthday and anniversary in next 30 days so we are showing here number of birthday and here number of anniversaries and this is the list of the persons name date occasion whether anniversary or birthday and the relationship contact number email id and then the gift idea which you have planned and if you have put some notes you will get that also you can use this for your office work if you are in hr department or you want to use it for your personal work you can use it this is ready to use template i will show you the data sheet also in the data sheet we have created these four charts also wherein we are showing total occasion which you have entered here how many birthdays and anniversary in this year then occasion in next 90 days we can see here the next 30 days and next seven days this is the input table here you can just input a new name and then enter the date for the occasion like date of marriage or date of birth you can select the occasion here like birthday or anniversary you can put here the relationship then here you can enter the contact number and the email id and if you have set some reminder you can just put here yes or no and here you can put the idea for the gift this is the remaining days column which is a calculation so here it will show the days automatically all right friends now we have a support sheet this is nothing but a formulated sheet so we are using this to create these charts now i will show you step by step how we can create this in google sheets so let's start without delay what i will do i'll copy this data till here just copy i'll go to the file and create a new blank spreadsheet let's paste that data from row number 15 as values press shift ctrl and v we have the same data let's quickly format this now we will add two more columns here one is date in this year the another one we will use remaining days let us put the formula for date in this year we will use here date function date and take the year of current year so i will take year of today this one close the bracket comma month we will take this date comma day also we will take from this date just close the bracket and hit the enter okay so we are getting the dates here in this year current year okay so now if this date is a past date then we will show here blank otherwise we will show here number of days so what i will do i'll use here if this date is greater than or equal to today that means it's a future date right then i will use this date minus today okay in the else case we will show here blank just close the bracket hit the enter okay so we are getting here number of days if this date has gone then it will show blank now let's quickly format this so select this all data align this middle and the center and reduce the font size take around eight or nine take some lighter border color so let's say i'm taking this one okay now go to the view and show uncheck the grid lines select the header and fill some darker color let's say this one and font color let's take this white and make this bold okay so our data is ready now for this occasion we can make the drop down list so select this right click and go to the drop down so here automatically it is taking you can select some colors let's say for anniversary i'm taking this blue color 
and for birthday i'm taking this purple color done now for this date this input date we can make a calendar so just select this right click go to the drop down and select here is valid date this one and done so if you double click it will open a calendar now we will add few extra rows here select this one go to the pent format and select some other rows as many rows you want to add okay and you can fill this and then you can just delete this so the format will come automatically all right friends so this is done now we will create the header here so let's select this use this merge cells this will be our header so we can say birthday and anniversary taker for google sheet just align this center middle and you can change the font whatever you want let's say i'm taking this one and then the size font size i'm taking around 35 okay now the background color let's say i'm taking this blue one the darker color and font let's take white okay now this is the data sheet let's add a support sheet here this will be a support sheet in the support sheet we will take here total occasion in this year and here we can take the birthday and anniversary okay to get the birthday count we can use the count ifs function or count if function so i'm taking the count ifs go to the data now we can select this range of the occasion use here count ifs function go to the data sheet and select this range let's say till 1000 just freeze this press f4 comma the criteria we can come to the support sheet and we can select this b7 now just close the bracket so we are getting the count of birthday and anniversary here we can take the sum to get the total of these two so we are getting the sum also now let's copy this and let's paste that here now this time we will take the occasion in next 90 days okay total occasion in next 90 days now occasion in the next 90 days we will just change the formula a little bit now put another condition here in this formula come to the data sheet you will take the column k this one okay so here you can select the range from k16 till k1000 and freeze this press f4 comma we are taking less than 90 days let's put here less than and equal to 90 close the inverted comma and hit the enter so we are getting the count of birthday and fill the same formula down so total count is 10 now let's copy this and paste that here this time we will take next 30 days and make it slightly bigger and we will change the formula here just take the 30 in place of 90 and fill this down so this is for 30 similarly we can take for 7 days also let's take here 7 and we will change the formula here in place of 30 let's take the 7 and here also okay so this is done now let's create the chart for this one first just select this range go to the insert and insert a chart double click on the chart and we will change the chart type we will take it as a donut okay go to the customize and the whole we will take around 75 percent and we will take the slice label as a value and we will take the color as white 
then we will change the color of individual slices also for birthday just double click and we will take the color of this purple one and double click on the anniversary we will take the color this blue one all right friend now we will add the legend so let's come to the legend and show it at bottom okay now we will add the chart title also so go to the chart and access title and put here this title which is total occasion in this year okay align its center font size take around 14 and the font color take this black one okay and make this bold make it a smaller click here and copy this chart come to the data sheet and we can paste that chart here let's put the chart here come to the support sheet again now we can delete this chart come to the data okay now we'll make the copy of this chart and paste here just double click on this chart the range of the chart is b7 to c8 now come to the support sheet this time we will take this one which is e7 to f8 okay so double click on this take here e7 to f8 and hit the enter so this is automatically changed we will just change the title total occasion in next 90 days again make a copy and paste here we will quickly create the chart and we will connect with this time h and i then next time we will connect with k and l okay so i'm doing this quickly okay now we will show the total in the center of this donut so let's come to the support sheet and let's select this first one this one go to the insert and insert a chart now change the chart type and we will take this one which is a scorecard chart in the key value we will select here c5 in place of b5 okay so this is taking the actual number now we will go to the customize for the baseline value we will take the font color as white this one for all negative positive and everything just take the white align the key value also as center make it smaller like this and from here just copy this come to the data and paste it here keep this here in the center make it a smaller and let's keep it here now we will remove the border also for this so just select this and double click go to the customize chart style and chart border let's take here none now it is only a number now just copy this chart again and paste and let's keep this here and paste again here also again and keep this here also we will change the reference so this is double click this is with b5 to c5 and the next one is the e5 to f5 so just double click here and take the e5 to f5 and enter so automatically it is taking 10 similarly here the next 30 days we will take h5 and i5 enter so this is taking 8 now here in the next 7 days k and l all right friends so this sheet is done now we will create the search occasion sheet also just rename this as search okay on the top section we can create a header this is for the search occasion take the size around 40 take the background little darker let's say this one go to the view and uncheck the grid lines now we will take the header from here so we can take these headers and we will take the header till notes only okay just copy come to the search 
and let's paste this from here okay so we will take only those headers so just unmerge this and let's select and merge it again till here only okay and we can remove these two column right click and delete now here what we will do we will just select these two and use merge and we will fill some color here let's say this darker color and then we will select these range and again merge and we will fill here some lighter color here let's say this one so we will put here enter days or occasion in next okay and just align this center middle font take white slightly bigger and we will put here let's say i am putting here save in and just align this center middle size take around 30 or even 50 and you can take the font as impact or any other font whatever you want font color let's take white okay now go to the format number and we will take here this custom number format and we will type here zero space inverted comma days click on apply automatically it will take as seven days we can take the background little bit of darker let's say this one so now it is visible properly now let's copy this and we can paste that here and we can paste that here also so this is the count of birthday and this will be the count of anniversary now we will take the simple number so we can take here only zero apply all right let's delete this and let's delete this now let's say here i'm putting 30 then it is taking 30 days slightly bigger so make this slightly smaller now i will put here the filter function filter then go to the data sheet i will select this whole range till the bottom okay comma the condition which i will put that will be our remaining days this column this column till the end is less than or equal to we will come to the search and we will just click here and just hit the enter so we are getting all days here we are taking this remaining days also so if we can remove this from our reference we are taking till column k so let's take till column just come to this seat and let's see the column number okay so notes is on column i so here let's take on column i only this one and just enter so we are getting till column i only now we can select this and take some extra rows and uh, reduce the font size keep it and then some border align this center middle all right now if i put here 90 then i will get the 90 if i put here save in then i will get the according to save in let's count the birthday here use the count if function and select this range till the end comma put here birthday enter so we are getting the birthday count if i put here 30 i'm getting here six count copy the same formula and just paste it here also only thing in place of birthday just put here anniversary all right friends so now if you input here 90 it will give the count according to the 90 if i put here let's say 180 days six months then accordingly it will show the result so friends that is how you can create this anniversary and birthday tracker in google sheets it is quite useful friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching